वेलकम टू द इमरान एकेडमी आई एम डिस्कसिंग विद यू एलेवेंथ क्लास मैथ चैप्टर फोर एक्सरसाइज फोर पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर एलेवन टू फोर्टीन सॉल्व बाय कंप्लीटिंग स्क्वायर एलेवेंथ क्लास इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एफ एस सी आई सी एस पार्ट वन इंटर पार्ट वन यू कैन आल्सो से दैट इट्स इंटर पार्ट वन so let's start the questions question number 11 is x square plus 6x minus 567 equals to 0 so first step is take the constant term to the other side to the right side of the equal sign then check if there is any coefficient other than 1 here we will divide with that number throughout but here uh, the coefficient of x square is 1 so we leave this step and move to the next step the next step is uh, just notice the number given in front of x that is the coefficient of x we just divide this number by 2 and take its square and add this square on both sides of the equation so adding 6 by 2 square on both sides of the equation 6 by 2 square can be cancelled as 3 square so adding 3 square on both sides and taking the first term from here taking the symbol from here taking the last term from here and closing these terms into parenthesis and putting a whole square sign outside so it's a complete square similarly adding these numbers and then taking the square root on both sides and 576 is the square of 24 so the square root of 576 is 24 now simplifying x plus 3 equals 24 x plus 3 equals negative 24 so x equals 24 minus 3 which is 21 x equals negative 24 negative 3 which is negative 27 so the answer is negative 27 solution set negative 27 and 21 let's move to the next question next question is question number 12 again here x square minus 3x minus 648 equals to 0 taking this constant term to the other side of the equation then there uh, the coefficient of x square is 1 so we don't have to divide it we only divide if the coefficient is other than 1 like 2 3 4 any number other than 1 then we divide with that number throughout but we will leave this step here because the coefficient of x square is 1 now we notice the coefficient of x is 3 negative 3 so we uh, are dividing by uh, we are adding 3 by 2 square on both sides so we are dividing the 3 by 2 and then taking the square of it and adding it on both sides of the equation so 3 by 2 square added on both sides taking the first term from here the symbol from here and the second term from here and it becomes a whole square now again simplifying the right hand side and it becomes 2601 by 4 and 2601 is actually can be written as the square of 51 over 2 
4 can be written as 2 square and uh, 2601 can be written as 51 square. So taking square root on both sides and simplifying and getting two answers. like this solving this one and getting the answer of 27 and solving this one and getting the answer of negative 24 those so the solution set is negative 24 and 27 let's move to the next question question number 13 x square minus x minus 1806 so taking the constant term to the other side and then the coefficient of x is 1 so dividing it by 2 it becomes 1 by 2 so adding 1 by 2 square on both sides taking the first term from here the symbol from here and the second term from here like this and enclosing it the whole into parenthesis and it becomes a complete square and again simplifying the right hand side it becomes 7225 over 4 and 7225 can be written as 85 square square of 85 so it becomes 85 by 2 whole, uh, whole square taking square root on both sides again taking the square root and simplifying and getting the two answers after simplification this term cancels out and this term also cancels out so these are the answers to the problem let's move to the next question our next question is question number 14 2 x square plus 12 x minus 110 equal to 0 taking the coefficient uh, the constant number to the other side of the equation to the right side now checking the coefficient of x square here it is 2 not 1 so we can divide throughout by this number 2 so dividing by this number 2 cancels out so it becomes x square plus 6x plus 55 again the coefficient of x is 6 so dividing it by 2 and taking square and adding it on both sides so it is 3 so adding 3 is square on both sides and simplifying taking the first term from here and symbol from here and second term from here and, and closing it the terms into parenthesis and putting a square sign outside so it becomes a whole square and simplifying the right hand side and taking the square root on both sides and here we have the two answers of after simplification my answer is x equals 5 and x equals negative 11 so that's it uh, thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe the imran academy for more lectures in the future this is for this message is for new viewers and thanks for watching in in the next lecture we will cover using the quadratic formula and solving quadratic equations by using quadratic formula thanks for watching allah Hafiz.